Mike, what was the difference for you guys in the second half? Y'all found a way to run the ball a little better. Play the offensive line, what was different for you? Um, it really was just about making adjustments that second half. Uh, first half, they was uh, they were scheming us up a little bit, so um, we just had to go in and make some adjustments. What is the feeling like when you are, uh, you know, because you're normally going against guys your own size, but when you pull and when you get to that second level and you're going against somebody half your size, what's that like for an offensive line? Um, it's really like, it's really nothing your coach could tell you. It's just it's blocking an open space. Uh, great linemen can do it, and that's really what separates great linemen from other linemen. So it's just a it's just a thing. You have it or you don't. Do you look at the you guys having trouble running in the first half? Do you look at that as starting slow? Is that, I mean, Coach Malzahn has talked about that from a lineman's perspective. Um, I guess you could say that, yeah. yeah. They're starting slow. Like I said, they schemed us up, so we had to make some adjustments to get our offense going. Okay. For, for you guys as an offensive line group, I mean, for the group of senior guys, is that something you want to start getting done a little earlier, is trying to make those adjustments before half, trying to get it done? Most definitely. The game? Yeah, most definitely. But uh, something like that, we just got to run what our coaches tell us to run and just let them do their job. Says they have a job to do too, so. We just have to rely on them and just know that they're going to lead us to the right way. Do you feel comfortable pulling? Yeah. yeah it seems like something pretty damn good. I feel like I've been pulling my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I pulled 10,000 times in that game, too. <laughs> like, you know, Mark Lillo, do, you, do, you, do you guys feel like that's when you're at your best sometimes is when you're getting out and getting yeah. to the edge? Yeah, that's definitely uh, the plays that we were successful on yesterday, too, when me and Mark Lillo pulled. So, yeah. So we probably will see more of that. Huh? We'll see. He had to ask <laughs> men upstairs. <laughs> I mean, how many pulls does it take before you get tired, though? <laughs> I mean, can you, I mean you it's, been doing it all, all summer. Yeah, it's just something that's ingrained in me now. Yeah. I've been here running this offense for a long time, so yeah. you get used to pulling. It's not like you get tired. I mean, you yeah. just know you got to do it. So. Do you guys as an offensive line take pride in that? Because that's two games in a row now where – Middle of the third quarter, mm -hmm. the entire fourth quarter, you guys have, have been the, the dominant group mm -hmm. because you're in great shape. You take pride in that part of the game? Most definitely, most definitely, because Coach Russell definitely uh, takes pride in getting us ready during the summer and during all the training that we do. So, uh, definitely, and Coach talks about leaning on us because we're such a veteran group. So, we definitely take pride in that. What, what's the. What's the goal? What, what's, what do you guys need to focus on now heading into Penn State week three? Um, I really think it's just about focusing on us and correcting what we made mistakes on more so than looking at Kent State right now, just focusing on us. Woody Barrett's the quarterback there. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Uh, I mean, you remember him when he was here? Did y'all hang out and stuff? I mean, I never really hung out with Woody, but I definitely remember him. Yeah, <laughs> memorable guy. He's a very memorable, memorable guy, yeah. Yeah, I'd be glad to see him. Any other questions? Good. All right. All right. All right.